What's up guys today's video is on the top 5 best fondue pots. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information, on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices, like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe, now let's get started. Starting at number 5, we have the Cuisinart CFO3 SS Electric Fondue Maker. While an electric fondue pot isn't traditional, it's certainly convenient, and this fondue pot is also very attractive. It has a brushed finish on the bowl and ring, and a mirrored finish on the stand and handles, the ring has notches to hold the forks in place. This pot can be used with any type of fondue, including oil, broth, chocolate, or cheese. Temperature is controlled with a dial with eight different settings. Foods can be heated right in the pot. No need to heat anything on the stove first. For oil cooking, it takes 10 to 15 minutes to reach 375 degrees. The bowl is three quarts and has a nonstick coating for easy cleaning. After removing the temperature probe and cord, the rest of the components can be washed in the dishwasher. Eight fondue forks are included. Our tester found this stylish pot to be easy to use and well worth the price. While this is designed for fondue, you could use it for keeping soup, stew, chili, or other foods warm for serving as well. Moving on at number 4, we have the Swissmar Lugano 9-piece cheese fondue set. This enameled cast iron fondue pot has the aesthetic of the traditional fondue pot, so it's great for traditional cheese fondue meals. The sturdy cast iron pot retains heat well and can be used right on the stove, so you don't need to dirty a second pot to melt the cheese and then transfer it. The stand is made from wrought iron and holds a gel container that provides heat. The enamel coating in the cast iron pot means that the pot doesn't need to be seasoned before use, but non-stick or wooden utensils should be used for cooking the fondue. It should be hand washed. The pot can be used on any heat source. The pot is two quarts, so it will be useful even after the fondue is over. You can use it for warming sauces or heating milk for hot cocoa, and it's attractive enough for serving. Our tester noted that the pot heated quickly but did have a hot spot in the center, where it sits right over the flame, and said it was easy to clean thanks to the enameled coating. The six included fondue forks have three tines instead of the more common two, so they hold food a little more securely. The set includes one three ounce fire gel container to get you started right away. At number three, we have the Oster Titanium Infused Dura Ceramic Electric Fondue Pot. There's no need to break the bank to have fun fondue, this very affordable fondue pot runs on electricity, so there's no need to buy or store the fuel for it, and it's ready whenever you need it. The pot has a ceramic interior that's easy to clean when cooking is done, and the temperature control is removable with a breakaway magnetic cord for safety when the pot is on the table. This set includes eight color-coded fondue forks that match the pot, and the fork holder ring keeps them neatly in place in the pot. The temperature can be set from warm to 400 degrees, and the dial indicates which temperature is best for chocolate, cheese, or for frying meats and vegetables in oil. It holds up to three quarts, so there's plenty of space to store food without needing to refill. With the temperature probe removed, the pot can be immersed in water for cleaning, but it is not dishwasher safe. At number 2, we have the Bosca Holland Tea Light Fondue Set. Designed for cheese fondue or tapas, this short, square pot comes with a wooden stand and a metal ring to hold the tea light that warms the pot. It includes four forks and comes with one tea light for the first fondue. Bosca makes several styles of melted cheese contraptions powered with tea lights or fuel gel, from personal-sized raclette makers to 54-ounce party-sized fondue pot. This model is the smallest in the line, holding 13.5 ounces of melted goodness. While this isn't a classic fondue pot design, it works the same way. Its diminutive size makes it great for fondue as an appetizer or for a tapas dinner. While this is designed for cheese, it can also be used for chocolate. The ceramic pot is dishwasher and microwave safe. And finally at number 1, we have the Nostalgia 32-ounce Stainless Steel Chocolate Fondue Fountain. If you love chocolate fondue, why not have a fountain of chocolate? This holds up to 2 pounds of the sweet treat. 
the heated stainless steel bowl looks good and keeps the chocolate flowing at the proper temperature with an auger that moves the melted chocolate upward and ready to cascade down. Nostalgia also makes a few different models of chocolate fountains, including some with a smaller 1.5 pound capacity if this size is too large for your needs. There are separate switches for heating and the motor. When you're not using this for chocolate, you can use it for cheese fondues, sauces, and more. Try it with barbecue sauce for your wings and ribs. The four tiers are easy to assemble for use and just as easy to disassemble for cleaning and storage. Thanks for watching and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time.